they haven't won anything uh, during the whole time Marvin Lewis has been there. They made it to the playoffs a couple of times, but that that to me that that hasn't actually they haven't actually produced or there's no fruit from Marvin Lewis personally. I think from being there. So that's my thoughts on that. Uh, Marvin Lewis has been there for so long that they know what he is. They know who he is. They know what he is. Um, once again, we'll actually we'll be taking callers for the next thirty minutes until the next guest up. Excuse me. We'll be talking college football national championship game with Larry B of IE Sports Radio. But if you want to call in over the next thirty minutes, feel free and call in whatever you want to talk about. The call in number is four six nine. Three five one zero eight eight one. Um, Want to get your opinion on whatever it is you're thinking, whatever it is that's on your mind. Feel free and call in. Um, my dad mentioned a topic that I wanted to touch on uh, real quick. He, for some reason, he can't get in the chat room. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to sit down. I meant to sit down and talk to him about that when he was here last, but he his comment was on. Lamar Jackson, uh, which he said he agrees with with us that the concerning the QB draft prospects, Lamar Jackson has the most potential and greatest upside of all of them as long as he learns how to slide. <laughs> I agree with that one. So he, uh, you know, comparing him to RG3 and Vince Young, so he won't be statistically like RG3 and Vince Young. I agree. Also, as long as he just remains, uh, I think, teachable and trainable, I think he's going to be great. I I do. I think he's got the skills. He's got everything that is needed, and I think he would be great. All right, so like I said, we're taking callers for the next 29 minutes now, 469-351-0881. If you want to call in, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're doing this Saturday. We got one hour until we get to the first NFL game for today, uh, which is Titans versus Chiefs. I know I dogged that game, um, and I'm going to stand behind that. I did dog it, and I think, yeah, I just don't think it's going to be that interesting. Who knows, though? I could be completely wrong. Also from this week, a couple of guys have decided that they're ready to go pro. Obviously, we already talked about Rosen. We already talked about Darnold. We already talked uh, talked about Lamar Jackson. The other name, Shaquan Barkley. I'm excited about this kid. Uh, He has put up huge numbers at Penn State. Honestly, for me, I just heard him about him this year. But for the past two to three years, he's actually been a top running back top running back in college football so it wasn't just this year I think for me and maybe some other people they just realized that he was a beast but he's a junior and for the past three years let me go to his stats he's rushed for over a thousand yards 2015 1076 yards seven touchdowns 2016 1400 yards 18 touchdowns 2017 to over 1200 yards 18 touchdowns also had 600 yards receiving three touchdowns also had a passing touchdown also had two kick return touchdowns the kid's a monster and I cannot waste to see him in the league he has signed with Jay-Z for his first sports agency which uh, Jay-Z's got a huge a huge uh, stable of guys uh, on his and his management that he's managing um, a huge list so shout out to to Jay-Z he's got uh, Dez he's also got I think he's got KD got baseball players got boxers Jay-Z's doing it big he is beyond rapping at this point I mean putting out an album was probably like a a release for him because he's doing so many other things. Uh, But that's, I've always been a Jay-Z fan. I appreciate his business uh, acumen. I appreciate his, um, 
his truthfulness in the music. So shout out to Jay Z. Also, we have well, we already talked about Carson Palmer. He's retiring. Is he a Hall of Famer? Again, I'm going to say no. I don't think he is. I think he was a good quarterback. I just don't think he was a Hall of Famer. I don't think he had the numbers. I don't think he had the stats. I don't think he had any of it. Um, but I, I, th- I think he was a good quarterback. He's definitely, you could say, probably one of the only good USC quarterbacks, period. But I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I don't. And like I said again, if you're going to put T.O. in, if you don't put T.O. in, you cannot put Carson Palmer in. Which leads me to the finalists of the NFL Hall of Fame. You got Ray Lewis. I think he's in. I think a first ballot Hall of Famer. Randy Moss is in. First ballot. No, no excuses, no exceptions. And this is this is what this is what pisses me off about these writers. Or whoever these people are that vote. Just because you don't like a guy doesn't mean he wasn't a Hall of Famer. And that that's what I don't agree with with these writers. Just because you don't like T.O. doesn't mean he's not a Hall of Famer. Just because you don't like Randy Moss or you don't agree with him doesn't mean he's not a Hall of Famer. He put up the numbers, put him in the Hall of Fame, and stopped playing. Stop getting, stop getting in your feelings. He should be in the Hall of Fame. We'll be taking callers for the next 25 minutes. Phone number 469-351-0881. Uh, T.O., like I said, should be in. Brian Erlacher. I'm a little bit on the fence. I think he was the best linebacker for the Bears uh, during his tenure. But is he truly, is he truly a Hall of Famer? Is he truly a Hall of Famer is the question. And that's, I think, the the biggest thing here. Um, Also, Edron James. You put Edron James in 1999 to 2009. I'm leaning towards no on Edron James. Isaac Bruce. I think he should be in. He is top 10, I believe, in receptions or yardage. So you got to put, I think you got to put him in. John Lynch, I'm going to say yes. John Lynch is a well-known, and a shout-out to DJ Nunu in the chat room. She had a great show. Uh, just uh, went off uh, probably about 30 minutes or so ago. So go check that out on Spreaker.com. But John Lynch, I think you got to put John Lynch in. He was one of the most feared safeties. He was reliable. You didn't hear about him missing long games or or having too many issues. Brian Dawkins, you got to put Brian Dawkins in. Uh, 100%. I think you have to. Everson Walls, who's a former Dallas Cowboy. He also played for the Giants and the Browns. I don't know if he's in. I think this is his last year of eligibility. But I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer. I, I don't know. Um, and I, and I did, did not grow up in that time. So I don't know what that means as far as, you know, his stats. But I, I'm, I'm happy for him being on the list. I, I am happy about that. I think a lot of... And here's the other weird thing is that and a shout out to Mo Cheese in the building. He just had his first show, Country Roads. Uh, so go look that up, Country Roads show on Spreaker. I believe he's a part of the X Squad and also uh, two live stews. Doug Stewart show listener, shout out to Doug Stewart. One of the two live stews. Always check out his show Monday through Friday. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. Also, Ryan Stewart has a show on Thursdays, which is normally from 1 to 2 Eastern. It's I'm I'm truly blessed just to even be a part of Two Live Studios Radio. These two guys who have been 
in radio and been doing big things for a long time. All right, so we got a caller up on the line. Looks like we got two callers, but first caller, uh, what's your name and what you want to talk about? This is Kimberly Rice Cuffield. I'm Calvin's wife. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Thank you for calling in. (laughs) I'm I'm doing well. No problem. I just want to call in and say thank you. Thank you so much for one for playing my husband's track only. And also for that beautiful prayer that you did for us. That was amazing, and I appreciate it for holding us up together. That's definitely, powerful. Definitely, man. I, I I totally believe that if we, if married couples can just get on the same page and, and, and be on yeah. a vision together, just how amazing uh-huh. it would be. Um, so, yeah, exactly. I, definitely, definitely. I thank you for calling in, and, and I, I just love what you <laughs> and your husband are doing. We appreciate it, and we appreciate just all the support. So, God bless y'all, and continue to do the great things that you're doing with all God has in store for you. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. God thing. bless. Happy New Year, and you take care. All right. No problem. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. That was Kimberly Rice Cofield. I appreciate her call. Also, Information Man, you can call in right now. I had somebody else on the line, so go ahead and call in. But, yeah, go follow Calvin Cofield, him and his wife, Kimberly, are, are doing big things in music, in movies, in events, and I definitely appreciate the call. All right, we got Information Man on the line. Uh, man, you you have been, uh, appreciate you for calling in, but what what'd you want to talk about? Um, I'm listening to your show, man. It's fantastic. I'm enjoying it. I love sports, and I, met, I heard you talk about T.O. and his circumstance, and I just want to say that uh, it's a highway robbery. He should be in the Hall of Fame. Now, you may not like his style or his personality or how he was outspoken, but, hell, you got plenty of people in that Hall of Fame that weren't the best-liked people off the field. I mean, what do you have to say to that, brother? I, I agree. He should be in. It, and like I said with Carson Palmer, everybody's on this Carson Palmer bandwagon. He should be in. He should not. He should not be in. And if you if you're gonna put Carson Palmer in, you gotta put T.O. in. And um, to me, T.O. and Randy Moss go hand in hand. You gotta put both of them in. Right now is the time. So I'm I'm 100 percent with you. I hear you. That, but one of the problems I have is that uh, Carson Palmer. How? Um, and I'm one of the probably the few people who didn't believe that um, my man that played for the Rams, the quarterback who went into the Hall of Fame. I. I, I don't understand how guys who have these little small spurts where they play well for a short period of time and then they all of a sudden go into the Hall of Fame either because they were able to squeak out one Super Bowl. In the case of Carson Palmer, he has no Super Bowls whatsoever. Um, his numbers, how great are his numbers compared to those that are in the Hall? I mean, do you have data on that? Um, I don't. I was getting ready to look that up. But uh, Kurt Warner... Uh, to your point, the, Kurt the Warner, you like about. Kurt Warner, he yeah, had a great right. short career for that three-year span with the Rams. They went to one Super Bowl and won. They lost one. He lost one with uh, with the uh, uh, the Cardinals, being his Cardinals. And um, he, you know, he put up some decent numbers within a short time. But long term, I don't see him like I see a John Elway or a Montana or these types of quarterbacks on that level. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't see him at, at all. I think you. I think Tom Brady. I think um, you, you. To me, you have to either you have to have a Super Bowl or you got to have the best stats in the world, and that's the reason why you know uh, Dan Marino got in because he had the best stats at that time. And uh-huh. here, I, I'm, I'm so I got the yardage pulled up, all time yardage. Mm-hmm. Carson Palmer mm-hmm. is not. Uh, he's number 12. He's number 12 with 46,247 okay. above Vinny Testaverde. Okay. So he's top 20 as far as yardage. So I think okay. based, based on that alone, he's probably going to get in. But I think his whole okay. resume, to me, his whole resume to me is not enough still. Yeah, and he's not a tr- he's not transcendent, brother. But right. I, um, I'm just going to uh, continue listening to the show, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. I love it. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. And uh, everybody, check out the Information Man show, which is on Spreaker.com. Spreaker's got some great shows. I would suggest, if you got free time, 
If you don't have anything going on, if you got a free...